Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Right, okay. So, as you may be aware, I was thinking about getting my NES RGB modded. And I looked around, I wanted to get a UK person to do this for me, obviously. And I came across a guy called Dave, who runs a website called Old School Consoles. Now, Dave is a great guy. I messaged him, told him what I wanted done, and he comes straight back to me, telling me the price, and I was quite happy with the price, very fair pricing. I checked out his website as well, just to uh, have a look around, and I found that he also does the N64 mod, which I didn't even know was available. But yeah, uh, Tim, who makes these boards for the NES in Australia, is also putting out N64 mod boards as well, so they work on all versions of the console. And for us PAL owners, it's fantastic, because for years we couldn't have this done, so no, we can. Now, if you've got a Palin 64, you can have your RGB mod and you get the best possible picture, which is fantastic. So, I messaged Dave. I said, you know, this is what I want to get done. How much are you going to cost me? He wrote back, broke it all down for the NES and N64. Really nice guy. I had a couple of other questions and went back and forth a few times with him. And, yeah, he was always really friendly and helpful. And I was really impressed with his uh, customer service. And then on his website, he has a recommendations. He has a couple of videos from fellow YouTubers. So I spoke to one YouTuber via Twitter and got some back stories, see how he got on. Uh, he was happy with the service as well and the quality of the installation. So I thought, this is looking good. Did a bit of Googling, checked some forums. Everybody was saying, yeah, Dave's the one to go to. So I was like, this is brilliant. So as I say, I went to Dave, told him what I wanted, give me a price. I sent the consoles off last Wednesday. And today's now Monday and they've come back to me. So really great, quick turnaround. And I'm really happy to say that I'm, I'm impressed with his work. It was worth the money. It was worth doing it. Uh, the NES looks fantastic. He's, that's the one that's, you can really see the mod on because the N64 is more internal because it just comes out the back of the AV port. So with the NES, you had to add, ob obviously, a SCART output on the back. So we've got a DIN port on the back, which is very neatly done. Very impressed with that. He also supplied an RGB SCART with a DIN attachment as well, so you can plug it in, obviously. <laughs> And also, if you remember from my previous video a few years back, like 2014, I think it was when I had my American NES that was RGB modded, uh, you, they add a palette switch so you can change the color palette on the games as well, which is really cool. So you have three different palettes. You have improved, natural, and you have garish. Uh, garish, from what I can remember, is basically representing the Play Choice arcade boards, which I don't like. I think it looks really horrible. I don't like that palette at all. So I tend to stick it in the middle and stay with natural because I think that looks really nice. And the picture quality overall from the RGB board that Tim has invented is fantastic. And yeah, I'm very happy with Dave's work. He's done a really nice clean job on my NES. So fantastic news. Especially as my NES is so mint as well. I was a bit worried about sending it off. I thought, should I really get it modded because it's so mint? But I'm glad I did. Uh, the N64... He's done a fantastic job on that as well. As I say, not so much cosmetic going on there because it goes out the back. But he did add, there's a new feature that comes with the N64 board called D-Blur. Uh, he puts a little switch inside the vent on the right-hand side, so you can't even see it, which is fantastic. And you flick the switch, and it puts the D-Blur into action. Now, it's supposed to, as far as I understand, obviously, as it says, D-Blur the picture. And I've read a little bit about how the blurring occurred in terms of how the machine was made. And so I'm assuming it's to do with that jam smearing effect that you get on the screen. I can't honestly tell the difference, me personally. I'm looking at it today, I've played Mario 64. It looks as sharp either way, whether it's on or off, so I'll just leave it on. Um, but yeah, overall, Dave's work is absolutely brilliant. As I say, really friendly guy, answers all your questions. Nice and easy to understand the pricing as well. Really simple, breaks it down for you. Service was quick. The work was really well done, very clean, very professional. So I would recommend him. If you guys out there you want to get one of your NESs or your N64 RGB mod, he does PAL and NTSC, so whichever one you want done, just give Dave a shout. Look down in the description of this video. There's a link down there to the old school consoles website. Just drop Dave an email, tell him what you want done. He'll come back to you pretty quickly with a price. And then all you've got to do is just ship it out to him and he'll ship it back to you and you'll be very happy because you have a beautiful RGB signal. So I'm really chuffed actually. It looks absolutely great. So there you go guys, just wanted to make a short and sweet video just to say Dave's work is excellent because I know when I was looking it's hard to get recommendations and say I only got one YouTuber I could find uh, to talk to and then I had to look on the forum. So it's nice to see someone on camera really that can go, yeah, I've had it done and his work's brilliant. So thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the link down there for Dave's website and I'll see you in the next video.